here we go total of 15 hours so far um, I got the coil mounted and I got the water piped into it this is the hot water out from my tank which is at 140 right now comes up here goes through this valve I have it shut off right now because I'm just pressure testing it so far it's holding but um, I'm gonna have to put some insulation on all of this stuff here so, so that my efficiency will be better and uh, so we got your hot water coming in here like this goes through the coil comes back out and this is a circulator pump that way when everything's the same pressure there's obviously no flow so you gotta have flow so put this circulator pump in here it's for a solar water heater and uh, you don't necessarily need that but um, there's a whole bunch of things that you gotta pipe differently if you're gonna have it without this but I wanted it with this that way um, I can take the hot water and just circulate it through here um, so then it comes back around here this valve will need to be opened comes down here and goes all the way into the middle of the tank that way when I got my super hot water say 150 160 degrees going up through it comes back down into an area that's around 140 130 that way there's not a whole bunch of temperature difference rather than going all the way down to the base where it's maybe depending on if you're using the water it could be 70 or 80 degrees so uh, yeah and that's what we got and I got it set up uh, right here these these pipes here that one there and that one there are set up later on for uh, extra storage uh, water heater so I gotta I gotta wire this guy in to, to here since I'm not using that I'll use that it's a 240 volt pump so I'll wire it into here and I'll put it on a on a temperature switch so if it gets below say 130 the whole thing will automatically shut down and I'll have water for my hot shower and uh, other than that should be good I'll get back to you later